Okay guys, I had a request to do a video about how to do airflow with my DAFM3 from UEI. Well, this is just an airflow meter. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. It's got your little handle here and then your wand. Checking airflow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test how to use it to uh, calculate airflow on a return grill. Kind of show how I do it, uh, the resources I use to do it. So let's get started. Okay, there's our return grill. It's a 12 by 12 filter grill, filter inside. And what I have to do is figure out what the free area of this grill is. Now this is an older grill, so what I'm probably gonna do is find out something, find out a grill that's similar to it, that's made nowadays, to calculate what kind of free area this one has as close as possible. One thing to pay attention to, some of the older grills have one third inch fin spacing some of the most of the modern ones that I use have a half inch so whenever you're looking up grills you want to try to find one that has a proper fin spacing of course some of them are stamp faced or filter grills just keep in mind the char characteristics of the grill so when you're looking over the different types you pick the correct one or one is very close okay to you can go to the Hart and Cooley website is what I use a lot of times and they have different catalogs. And here's the residential and commercial grills, registers, and diffusers. I'll go with residential. Here's sidewall, ceiling, registers, and return air grills. I have the benefit of already knowing which one I have because I've looked through here already. It's a 659. Has a third inch spacing at 20 degrees. And it goes to all the benefits of it, conceals filter and things like that. And you can take a look at it and see that it looks similar to the one that we saw on the wall. So what I do now is I can go to engineering data and some middle drawings. I'm going to look for my grill. And there's a 659 engineering data. And what I did, there's these engineering tables right here and I printed one out and I'll show you what it looks like. Here was the first page we saw online it shows a picture of the grill, has the name of the grill, I have it highlighted different sizes it comes in. There's our engineering table so what I did was I found our 12 by 12 grill and what it does is it says the AK factor. AK factor is the free area. 0.681 square feet is the area of that grill. So you can see that with a 12 by 12 grill which is one square foot you have 68% free area because it's 0.681 out of one square foot. So when we figure up our square inches for that grill, we'll be going 12 times 12 is 144, then multiplying it by the 0.681 to get our square inches for the airflow device. Okay, we found that our AK factor, our free area, is 0.8 or 0.681. So now that we know that, we can find our grill area, which is basically 12 times 12, since we have the size of the grill we have, 12 by 12, it's 144 square inches. We multiply that by the AK factor of 0.681, and we get the square inch of free area, which is 98.064, and we'll use 98. So when we make our measurements, for the 12 by 12 grill, we'll actually use 98 square inches because that's what free area we have on that grill. On a different model grill, it may be a little bit higher. Like the 12 by 12 grill with half inch fin spacings, maybe a little bit higher than that. But for this particular grill, since it has one third inch fin spacings, we'll use 98. All right, we have the DAFM3 out. What we'll do is we'll turn it on. We can hit mode. Actually, we'll hit mode and hold it down for five seconds. Okay, now we're into the recording airflow mode. Right now, we see our square inches. If we're doing length times width, but we're going to do area. So we go to where it says area at the bottom. And you know our area was 98 square inches. So we'll toggle it up. Oh, I missed it. 
go to the next one. And then to the last one, we have 98 square inches. And then when we hit enter, it'll count down from 20, and then it will start making the measurements. I'm not going to make it to the grill in time, so I'm going to stop this process and restart it. This is my Focus Pro 6000 I have at my house. Uh, I have a three-speed fan motor, PSC fan motor, so I'm just going to turn it to on. And that will be sufficient for this process. If you had an ECM motor, you'd probably want to turn it on to heat or cool. Because in fan only, it'll run at a much lower speed. So now that the thermostat is set to on, as far as fan, we can measure the airflow at the return. Alright, we have the meter ready. The air is on. I'm going to hit the enter button here. Okay, we are counting down from 20. I'm going to go ahead and get the probe in position about an inch away from the grill surface. And we'll start measuring. We have 8. Can you hear the beep? Start moving slowly across the grill. Keep in mind it measures over 30 seconds. I usually split the grill into fourths in my mind. And this will be a little bit easier without the camera. Give about 30 seconds here. And it looks like we have a CFM of 283 through this particular grill. Now I usually do it a few times, just to sort of get an average, because it will vary a little bit. But that is the way it is used, and that's how you can get your efficiency ratings, your BTU output, and anything like that. And that is how you get the airflow with the DAFM3 from UEI.